G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks for being here today. Lovely to have you with me. Now today I am going to pour in my large rock edge mould. I have got it sitting up on my little trivet here just to get it up off the ground. Ground, I mean my bench, just so I can get some airflow under here so that it doesn't overheat and flash cure. I am using my Platinum Super Clear. Uh, starting to get a bit warm, so I'll, I'll get a wriggle on. I am using Holbein inks, and I'm going to do a fairy flower for you. This one here, like, is one of my favourites with the pastel colours. Um, I used the yellow, magenta, and turquoise, and I'm going to use those again. This yellow here was just that one, um, and today I've got a couple of drops of the um, ISO. I'm not even going to say the whole word ISO yellow um, lovely lady in my facebook group ruth ann hi ruth ann <laughs> she did an amazing amazing fairy flower probably the best i've ever seen ruth ann so taking a leaf out of her book and just adding these two together but um yeah the colors like i said are the same as this one but i've got a lot of yellow so um we've got like i said the iso yellow and the hansa yellow for that one the primary magenta for this one and the thalo turquoise for this one. They are still transparent as you can see even though they look really really dark. Still transparent and to avoid getting like big swirls I'm gonna just do little 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 puddles. Fast forward if you don't want to watch me doing my dirty paw and I think I'm going to sort of twist it around as well like so just to kind of get my colors a bit more blended around I go with the cup otherwise they all tend to be in the same spot and then like you might get like a big blob of the yellow and then a big blob of the pink and I want them to be more more blended so I'm going to see if this works just by going around a little bit. I used to do this when I was doing my acrylic pouring and I wanted to get like more um, blending of my colours. So I thought, I wonder if it'll work with resin. So we shall try. And then I won't pour in a, spor in a spiral. I'll just dump. All right, I think that'll be it. Better get a wriggle on. Just kind of pour all that in at the end. There's about an ounce, I guess, of each colour. It's a big mould, so it can take it. It can take a bit more colour. The mould holds about 220 grams um, of resin. So with the Platinum Super Clear, it's um, it's like a medium viscosity. It's very similar to Art Pro, for those of you that are using Art Pro. Um, we can't get Art Pro in Australia. So I think the closest, well, the closest I've tried anyway is the Platinum Super Clear. It has a CPS of 600 to 800, so like I said, very similar to Art Pro. Okay, that's all my colours in there. Got almost a full little cup. Alrighty, um, and then I've got my Bloom white pigment paste in here, and it's just opaque. I'm going to pop that into the piping bag in a minute. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically just pour that in the center like so. Oh, look at those colors. Yummy. I'll just go around like that just with the leftovers around the edge. Don't really see the edge all that much because it kind of it's the edge <laughs> so it goes over to the sides alrighty quick little torch now my my push at the end I'm just going to do a clear traditional fairy flowers um, you do white but I have come to discover that I don't like putting white in the middle I like having a clear or maybe a very very transparent black you might have been you might have seen me do with my a fantasy flower and that is because I want to see what's going on in the middle I want to see if it's closed up or not so no I think this is my feelings 
um, there's no point me going to all the trouble of getting a gorgeous mold and buying all this resin and the inks and everything and then I end up with a fairy flower that's got a big white blob in the middle and I'm not happy with it and I've got to cover it with a sticker or something um, yeah so I've been doing it this way putting clear at the end that way I can see what's going on um, and I can suck the middle out look no white blob uh, another one no white blob um, you will have probably seen those videos those two otherwise if you haven't they'll be up soon they will be up soon <coughs> excuse me so uh, we'll snip that and then I can decide after I after I've sucked all my center out if I want to add some glitter or just leave it all right here we go with the dots always starts off a little bit manky when you first start <laughs> it kind of drips the wrong way but after you've got it if I hold my my little piping bag sort of horizontally and then the the drops drip down pretty okay I have made the hole pretty big as you can see they are dripping out pretty fast um, and that's what I, I wanted that now with the platinum super clear um, because I'm in Australia, I'll, I'll get to where I'm going in a minute, because I'm in Australia and it's pretty cool here, we're, I mean we're not in winter anymore, but we're in spring, but my resin is still getting quite cool overnight, it's getting still getting down to about 12 degrees Celsius at night and the resin gets cold. And because it's cold, um, it's not acting the same way as it would, you know, if, if you're over in the States and, and you're, you've just come out of summer, I think. So the resin over in the States that you're using, the Art Pro, is much thicker to begin with because it's been sitting in a warm room. My resin's been sitting in a cold room, so I need to wait for it to thicken up. So I waited for, I waited for 10 minutes after I finished stirring it, and then I decanted, I mixed all my colors, fluffed around, which took me probably 15 minutes, I think from the time I stopped stirring to the time where I started the video. So I waited 10 minutes um, and then decanted for five minutes. So yeah, 15 minutes it took me. So my resin is starting to thicken, it's starting to warm a little bit. And in doing that, I get a much, I think, a much better, fluffier, bigger, petal to what I used to get when the resin just hit the bottom and went splat and I ended up with a really thin flat petal and when I started the fairy flower I thought oh that's that's beautiful I was so happy and then as I was getting more experienced in trying different things I realized that I personally prefer the bigger fluffier petals so that's why I started waiting um, and in waiting with the resin thickening my white dots here instead of them going straight to the bottom and going splat as they hit the bottom um, they are staying more suspended in the resin and becoming puffier rather than flatter I hope that makes sense to you that's what I've figured out anyway and just my personal opinion I, I prefer them the petals to be nice and thick and fluffy but of course you don't have to do that if you want to pour straight away and your resin's thin you'll still get a really nice fairy flower um, but you'll probably just end up with the flatter petals okay I think that'll do I'm pretty much out of that now <laughs> okay another little torch you can see how the resin has moved from the outside in so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour my my little clear at the end making sure that I don't go over I do want it really really full though right to the top I see some people using my molds and I don't fill them all the way up fill them up guys right to the top okay and then you can use your syringe and suck out the middle later on not quite yet I'll go through that with you in a minute okay so here we go we're gonna find the middle and we're gonna dump all that in I want to make sure 
that my mold is full okay that's it and hopefully you could see when I was pouring it you could see the white underneath that was coming in but I've just pushed it all out now so basically we are going to wait now and by me having the clear center I'll be able to see in about 15 minutes I'm gonna let this sit now for about 15 minutes or so close up as much as it can um, it won't close all the way as far as I've seen I haven't seen anybody's that has closed up all the way on its own it's always left a big white blob because we've used the white push at the end so I'm gonna give it 15 minutes I'll come back to you and then I'll show you what I'm going to do for the next step okay okay so it has been it's actually been 50 minutes since I stopped stirring my resin and you can see there's a big clear area in the middle hasn't really closed in which is what I was expecting and if you had used uh, a white push at the end that big center would be white <laughs> so this is how I'm going to try and get around that issue and when I say issue it's just my issue like when Micah did her own um, you know when she designed the, the fairy flower hers had a white blob as well and everyone was like oh it's amazing and it was amazing I personally just don't want the white blob so I've got my syringe it's a 10 mil syringe I feel the heat coming out of that make sure you do, make sure you do actually um, test your resin and it hasn't flash cured on you in the center now it's a little bit off center I know that I don't know why um, I've just put that under there to try and make it go that way a bit but make sure that when you put your syringe in you're going to do it that way um, I will kind of show you I'll put it in this way just so that you can see but I want it and I'm going to go right touching the bottom as close to the bottom as I can because I want the bottom to move okay so as you can see that's all clear resin that's come out now this is why you want your mold to be nice and full because you want to be able to take out about an, an ounce now excuse the back of my hand but I need to go into the middle I need to go draw up from right into the middle so I want I'm going to put my syringe as close to the bottom as possible it keeps wanting to stick <laughs> to the bottom of the mold there we go another one pretty much clear my resin is starting to thicken a bit I should have come back five, uh, five minutes earlier but I was busy chatting away on Facebook so I, I thought oh my gosh I gotta get back there so it's been 45 uh, 50 minutes instead of 45 all right here we go again almost touch the bottom suck that resin up I can feel it's getting a little bit harder to suck and now as you can see there's some color coming through pulling up some color and I can't actually see what's going on down there anymore this resin here you could mix a little bit of green or blue or something and maybe some glitter and turn it into a pendant don't waste it I might make a um, puffy heart with it now I'm going to shine my flashlight into the middle just see if I can see what's going on look away if you don't want to see bright flashing lights and I can see that it's all closed up I am going to take just a dinsy little bit more just so that I can get a nice finish like that like so all right now I'll bring you down now I've got some isopropyl alcohol in my little cup here I'm just going to clean out my syringe I'm not going to do it near that because it'll spray but you clean out your syringe with the isopropyl um, otherwise it's going to get stuck in there and you don't want that all right let's come down and have a little look hopefully I'm in the center I kind of look as if I'm a bit off center but, oh, yeah never mind all right now try not to drop the phone into the resin and I'm going to shine the light away again look away if you don't like flashing lights 
Okay, now I don't know if you can see, I'll get as close as I can. You can kind of see what's going on in there. It's closing up, there's no big empty abyss, there's no big white blob. Um, and hopefully that's done its trick. So now I'll just cover it and uh, let it cure. I'll see you later for the unmolding. Wish me luck. Righto, guys, it is set. Um, and you can see that it's not full totally because I've sucked so much out. Oh my gosh, never mind. Hopefully it's still pretty on the other side. That's what, that's all that matters, isn't it? The other side. It doesn't really matter how full it is or what the other side looks like. It's the front that matters. Okay, now again, I can see a definite ring in there, a circle. So I guess that's where our pattern's going to be. But let's have a little look and see if it's worked, eh? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's so petally. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right. My, um, my, my white has sunk a bit more than usual because I didn't wait long enough with this one. But it's still really pretty. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's what happens. Like, it hits the bottom and it goes kind of splat. But um, rather than staying suspended in the resin. But it's still really pretty. Look at the centre. It's nicer than having a big white blob, isn't it? Wow. And it's really pastely. But I have lost a lot of my yellow. I find the blue really takes over. All the ones that I've done... Oh, maybe not all of them, but um, the blue tends to take over. I have to cut back on the blue. What do you think? Different shaped petals. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Every time I do this, like, it's never the same. Every single time I do it, it's different. Even if I use the same colors, the same recipe, the same amount, it's, um, it's still different every time. There you go. Reminds me of ice cream, <laughs> except for the chocolate ice cream is blue. <laughs> All right, there we go, away from those bright lights. The center looks quite dark. I mean, I didn't use any black in it, but I guess it's because the inks have mixed and there's really not much white in the middle. See the white, um, you know, makes your, your inks go pale. But when there's no white dots in the middle, there's, there's only color. So it does look a little bit darker in the middle if there's not as many dots going on there. Um, let's have a little look. Oh gosh, too many lights, too many lights, too many lights. Still looks really pretty though, doesn't it? Happy with it. I'm, I really like the way the colours have all blended. I haven't got that spiral that I don't like. So yeah, happy with it. But just um, the petals, they're, all, they're a little bit, they're a little bit flattish. <laughs> Never mind. I'll try again and wait a little bit longer. So um, my resin thickens a bit more. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think of this petal shape. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.